Oh gosh, it's really hot here. Um, there are a few packages that has arrived. I'm quite excited to open this one right here. So let's take that inside and cut it open. It's a quite big package, so I'm gonna have to open it like this. It's hard to see, but that's what it looks like here. First, the bubble wrap. Gotta keep these things, my kids love them. Blue Yeti Caster. It's shaped like a guitar. It's a fairly big box. Apparently, Blue is part of Logitech, so thank you, Blue and Logitech, for sending me this product. I wanna get this unboxed and show you what this looks like and how it performs the review. I'm very looking forward to using this microphone. I guess the entire thing just comes out. Okay, here I got the arm, which I really like how clean it is. Fairly long and clean look. There's a sticker that says this direction only. And there's another sticker that says optional tension adjustment. So I can do tension adjustment by here. I guess that's what's gonna control how much of a tension that you have here. And that is, I'm understanding is 5 8 It's gonna have 3 8 thread as well. So there's sort of the adapter that's available for you. And I guess that's a little pocket for getting your wire onto the microphone, which is nice. And then let's move on to the other bits. This is a USB cable. That is a bit strange. Um, it has regular USB-A and then it's got mini USB, which is not something that is common these days. People use either the very thick USB-B type, I believe, or micro USB, not mini USB. I guess that's what it's gonna be. And then this is the clamp that's gonna go onto your desk. Can you see it? Yep. There's that, has been clamped on. And I guess you just kinda go like this, and then sort of bend this way. Anyways, here is the shock mount. That is large shock mount. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure out how that mounts onto the microphone. And then here's the microphone. It is quite big. It is bigger microphone than any other microphone that I have owned. Here's a volume button, the mute button, and then there's a gain dial and then pattern dial. I like cardioid, so it only picks up one way. I gotta isolate the sound coming from kids' room, so that's my best effort there. And on the bottom, I see the thread and then the mini USB port here. And then there is a headphone jack here. I guess that is to monitor your sound. So let me figure out how to mount this onto the shock mount. I guess this kind of goes like that and then thread onto the microphone. And how does that work? And then I've got two other manuals here, so which I am going to have a light read on. The microphone, the cable. So apparently I forgot this that was in the box. And that is the part that's gonna join the microphone and the shock mount together. There's two washers in there. And I did some light reading on the manual itself. I'm supposed to use this to assemble it together. Obviously you're not here to read the manual, so I'll do that part for you. The shock mount and then the arm, which is, which is here. But I need to figure this out. So first, how do I reduce the pressure? So use a screwdriver to adjust the tension here. I'm gonna loosen it and see what that does. All right, first I've got to screw this in and then thread the bolt in. And if it's needing to come my way, I just kind of do that. So it sort of fully swivels and then it can fold if it needed to. 
so I can just kind of talk to the microphone in this way. So I'm going to connect this USB onto the microphone so I can just connect to my computer and see how it records. So let me go ahead and connect this cable here on the arm itself. There's little clips that I can actually open. I don't know if you can see it on the screen. Position your cable and then snap in place. So let me go ahead and do that. And I've got to connect the other end to the computer. And since there is a headphone spot, I'm gonna try and monitor that. Let's use another Logitech line. And this one has a headphone jack. Am I hearing anything? No, I'm not. But there is a light that is blinking. You can see how the mute button is blinking. So I guess that is muted. Microphone testing, one, two, three. Oh, I could actually hear it. So if it is muted, it just blinks and I don't hear anything. But if I press it, it goes in sort of recording mode, I guess, the red. Nice touch. Microphone testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. And as I change the gain on the back, I hear more sound. I'm starting to record, I can hear myself. This is sounding really good. It is probably a little bit too hot, so I'm gonna have to lower the gain a little bit. So microphone testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm gonna pull it a little bit towards me. Microphone testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. Microphone testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. Microphone testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's do the snap test. So this is a front snap, side snap, another side, and then this is the back snap. How much of a noise cancellation or Pick a pattern has changed because this is cardioid pattern. So one that I have on top of the camera is Rode Video Micro, and this is about four feet distance. Microphone testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. And this is about a foot away from Blue Yeti. I don't know what this actually sounds like in recording, although I am hearing what is going on. Microphone testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. It is sounding very good. So let me just hire the gain and then step a few feet back so that it has an equal distance to the video micro that I was testing. So four feet away is what I'm trying to go to. So this is about four feet away. You probably hear some echoes that's going into the microphone, but you can still hear my voice here. I can see it is picking up and I can hear myself as well. So microphone testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. Microphone testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. Microphone testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. So according to the manual and also the switch in the back, it has four different pickup pattern, stereo, omnidirectional, cardioid, and bi-directional. I think I'm gonna stick to cardioid, and cardioid is perfect for podcast, game, streaming, vocal performance, voiceover instruments, cardioid mode. But if I'm performing some sort of interview, then I can do bi-directional. And there is a little diagram here that shows you how you are supposed to position your microphone. So you're supposed to speak to the front of the microphone in this direction where I can see the logo of blue rather than this direction. And obviously I'm not a sound specialist so I don't really know every single detail about how the sound is supposed to be but at least to my ears this is sounding good so this is definitely an upgrade and I can monitor what is going on. I can hear what I sound like and that is definite plus. I'm gonna use different headphones to do this, but so far from what I can test here, it is sounding very good. How does it sound like to you? Yeti Caster is what I got here and this is what it sounds like. If I change to Video Micro, which is right there, it's a little bit further away, but that is what it sounds like on Video Micro that is connected to Canon M50 versus this is what it sounds like Blue Yeti that's connected via USB onto my PC and I'm using OBS to pick up and record and this is what it sounds like. I'm guessing there's gonna be a huge difference, but I'll leave that up to you. Thank you so much for watching this video of Blue Yeti Caster unbox and review video. If you have liked it, please like and subscribe to my channel if you wanna continue watching these type of videos. I'll see you next time, bye.